Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our modded series. So in today's episode there's quite a few things to go through actually because I've uh, done quite a bit of off-camera work once again and this time I'm, I am I feel I've gone uh, maybe a, bit, a little bit too far. So right let's have a look at our temple district. I think in this one yeah we've uh, been saving up those dynamites and putting a few down in here as well so that's uh, that's that's okay so that's all good now in district one i think we had some problems with uh, water surprise surprise we were uh, running a little low so i was thinking okay so we're gonna need some more water and uh, this was the plan and still is the plan to put some more water pumps down in here and then use it to export it to other districts right but then I was thinking, okay, right, so we need those platforms to be built, but for that, obviously, we need some metal, and with metal, we only have about 700, and that's spread out between different uh, districts, of course, uh, right, so to get metal, we're gonna need to build more of, more of those smelters here, but they take 200 hamster power each. Now, after metal, we will also be needing uh, scrap metal and the power, of course, and then, uh, yeah, a couple of uh, improvements we've, I've, I've started to think about, but priorities first. Uh, to get the metal we need, we need power. Now that, that I have a solution for, and, and scrap metal as well. So going back uh, into District 1, but before we do that, yeah, we've uh, definitely put some more beavers in here as well, and a couple more tanks just to fill it up as much as we can. Uh, but before we increase the beaver numbers here to ridiculous amounts, uh, right, let's zoom over to District 1. Now, the solution for power, which we did talk about, is to have a few of those engines. And yeah, right now, they're giving us another 800 hamster power, which, uh, you know, keeps a few things alive, but that's probably not enough. So yeah, I have scheduled in or planned in quite a, quite a few things in here. And I'm thinking of putting some uh, the windmills on top of these warehouses as well, as soon as we can. Right, so that's uh, scheduled in here, but again, they are going to take quite a bit of metal. Uh, yeah, just uh, lots of metal everywhere. Right, yeah, so I think we can leave that for the time being. I did put down a few more metal or scrap metal smelters. What were they called? Yeah, just the smelters. Okay, there we go. Uh, and uh, Dragon's Keep, but we'll uh, check that out in a second. Now that we are in District 1, yeah, the cable management was pretty easy over here and these are just minor things right here i'm thinking to start farming for some maple syrup and the reason for that is well obviously to get the better uh, food items but i have yeah I've, I've expanded this a little bit more now as well and i if i'm completely honest i can't remember if i talked about it in the previous episode but we have deleted the crystals i put down a couple more small warehouses uh, just to, you know, have a bit more storage space in here. And also a few underground warehouses. I think this one is holding, uh, there we go, wheat flour. And the other one is currently empty, but we'll definitely be using that space very, very, very soon. Right now, because we didn't have those maples ready there, I did place down those tappers shacks right about here. And they are basically gathering the maple syrup from district one right now they can still cross over i had to just remove a couple of fences over here and they they do have uh these trees in range right now okay yeah so that's uh that was quite a bit of work and if i quickly show you as well what we had to do here was rearrange the stairs a little bit we can go down a little bit before it was going to the sides i believe from from the middle so these roads are no longer relevant uh, but now, yeah, essentially they're going up. And oh, it is difficult to see. Yeah, up from here it goes around. And just a bit of a circle that they do. And on this side as well, they do have the option to go down into these warehouses that are a bit more hidden. But the reason why I put them in there was to send the power to the other side. Okay, if we can go up. I think it was a quick autosave. Yep, there we go. And uh, in here we're producing some bread, bread in that one as well, maple pastries and cattail crackers. This means if we grab one of those beavers, they will be in ease now up to 19. And as soon as we get the amusement park in place as well, we should be able to max it out. I think the only other thing we really need besides the entertainment is the books. And yeah, that is definitely planned uh, to be done in the future. 
here we did a quick rearrangement I uh, know it's a probably a little bit darker but I hope you can still see uh, rearranged a few things we deleted all the buildings we had a couple of builders huts here and, and farms in the middle but that is precious land so we've uh, basically put the farms and other buildings on stilts and they're now on top of this river so what I'll do is before going to other districts we'll skip the oh actually never mind we don't have to skip anything it is almost morning so we'll just speed up the time right in here very minor update we've uh, expanded the forestry area quite a bit and yes I know we do need another forester here and spread out the lumberjack flags as well it, it's okay we I think we have enough yeah logs in here still 5300 and all the stockpiles are full so we don't really need to hurry with this section too much oh you guys were left on so there's barely any oh water left in here forecast drought in progress but that's almost over so that's okay i think right now water yeah 760 so that's all good okay let's go into dragon's keep and so the platform is in place and let's go up all the way so i've dug down all the way on this side uh, these water pumps are a little bit lower and yeah we'll, we were able to get all that water well not all of it but most of it out yeah so that's all good had to rearrange quite a few things in here so that was a bit of a nightmare uh, i think we had some dams in here so the water was spilling both ways i want in the future oh this reminds me i'm gonna have to get rid of this levee underneath these platforms here as well so we will allow this water to go through here into our district and uh, yeah so i put a few levees in place and had to rearrange the stairs as well the only thing i still have to figure out is how to give them a very short uh, route towards the bottom because there is going to be another level hopefully i don't really know where but somewhere it's yeah it, it's going to be somewhere right and uh, temporary solution lots of lots of houses on those corners here because we had like 30 to 40 beavers that had no home so yeah i've put a few temporary houses here just for the time being and then uh, i came up with a quick uh, nice idea to use the space uh, that's under the metal platform and we've got a if i hide the water we've uh, got a staircase going down and there's a couple of houses here so that's going to give us another what is it 24 living spaces actually no that's a smaller one so about 20 maybe a couple extra ones uh, for the beavers in the future but we just have to wait for the water to disappear uh, right so right now yeah 89 spare beaver homes which is great and i really want to expand the population as well because we still have like 27 work places that are not manned i think the bigger picture for this district is you already know about the amusement park so this forest is going to go and potentially the farming is going to shrink down a little bit as well the only thing i'll leave here is most likely the blueberries and um, the goal for the district one really is to become a farming district yeah that's that's what i what i was thinking and um right 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 so there is a high chance that this area might be completely morphed and uh yeah because i think the range is the issue right so if it's amusement park we need the beavers to be or the amusement park to be on this side of the map really okay so yeah that's the plan district one farms exporting doing everything here and sending it out and then the dragons keep going back to the original idea which was the iron death series and uh, you know producing advanced materials here uh right let's have a look over here as well so we've opened up the production zone again because gears is something we still struggle with uh, now that we are producing a lot more wrong building uh, efficient mine yeah we're producing a lot more scrap metal and i've changed the recipe to the efficient one which means we are consuming explosives but right now i believe we still have quite a lot yeah that's that's all good we do have a couple more smelters but the output of the the vision mine is not as good as i was hoping so yeah they're not uh, they're ready here as soon as we get some more scrap metal we will be opening these up and potentially even building some more here as well but we just really need to uh, expand and build another efficient mine somewhere i mean there's 
these two here but it's just very far to be transported we have to yeah go through that uh, district in here but it's okay we can figure this out now the next thing i've been thinking for quite a few episodes actually already but i haven't really shared it with you until now and you might notice this funky looking thing in here there's a massive hole in the middle of our district and the platform to be scheduled on top of it so what i was thinking everything if we look at the sort of reach for this district center like this whole area is pretty much district one over here we're almost out of reach and that's going to be the amusement park same thing in here just forest so we can't really build much stuff in here and this is the pyramid district so yeah that all is going to be used for this area i believe as well so it didn't really leave me with uh many options and i was thinking well we're on top of this beautiful mountain and we don't really need those trees here because they are being imported from district one so why don't we just get rid of it go underground and just bring all the extra beaver housing that we need underground here yeah and also the production a little bit as well fortunately we have those arches over here so what i'm thinking we can do one two about three or four actually platforms here and the same on the opposite side and then probably a couple here as well i still want the water to go around so have to be pretty careful about where we build those platforms but in the future if everything goes well we are going to have quite a few of these platforms here and either the production or the living space underground i think living space maybe makes more sense because for production if they have to always go up and down up and down still trying to figure this out so so yeah we might change things around a few times i mean the only thing we can't really change is the where the platforms are uh, located and i uh, had to have this funky little workaround as well because unfortunately the corner of this platform is right in the middle of this highway that we have so yeah uh it seems the bridges is the is the way to go and i have to do another one here to be able to build this platform and the last but not least uh, that we have to figure out is how are they gonna get on the ground like what is the best way to go about it i'm thinking most likely closer to the district center because that's gonna give us a bit more range on things so maybe i don't know somewhere around here perhaps because if they go all the way here and then we have the let's say spiral staircase that goes down then they have to come all the way back whereas if this staircase is here that's definitely gonna allow us a bit more range depending on how low we can get but knowing that this is probably one of the highest points of the map we can you know go pretty far down which is great yeah so quite a few things have been uh, done oh i almost forgot i pause this real quick and we zoom over into this area i have started to schedule in some dynamites now unfortunately if we highlight this area they weren't able to reach this far i mean i probably could get some more reach if we go through here but i mean it's only gonna help us deconstruct or demolish this area here so uh, the more permanent solution is yeah we're gonna need some beavers in here and also exporting the dynamites so most likely a distribution center here bring it right over and a few beavers living in here that are constructing these dynamites but we're using them right now in our temple district yeah there's quite a few here and with this one i think we can now lower it down a little bit because yeah if the main focus for this area is pumping out all this water wait a second 1.9 days i don't think we oh yeah you're already up there okay so that's fine uh yeah so lots of water going out so yeah i think it's pretty safe to demolish this side i'm not really sure if we want to close this gap or not because even if this is purely pumping out water, I mean, just having one row over here, that's a lot of pumps and that's a lot of water we're pumping out. So I, I don't really think we need one, two and potentially three rows in here. I mean, if we had three rows with maybe up to like 10 or 20, if we mirrored on the other side as well, 20 per line, so 60 water pumps in here. So yeah, we're gonna dry up this lake fairly quickly 
but I think for now we can probably try and do this side at least because everything on this side is where it is supposed to be. So yeah, I'm pretty confident about this. Wait a second, I think we still have... Oh, it's very difficult to see now, isn't it? Oh, if we can go another... Yep, that's a good level. And in between you, probably as well, I believe. Yep, let's go here, here. And right about here, that's all, right? Just one more. Okay, beautiful. So that's done. Let's uh, let the beavers put in the last of the dynamites. Oh, actually, we can do this one right now. Perfect. Okay, just one more. And now you can get out of here. Okay, perfect. How many beavers do we have here? 133 power right now, 10,000. So that's not a problem. Why don't we... Let's have a look. Where shall we start? I, I guess this one here. Hmm. Yeah, power is not going to be a problem. Oh, scrap metal is probably problem number one. How many metals? Oh, 300 here. Right, we're not touching you. You, This uh, scrap metal city is definitely going to stay in here. Now, where is the next base, uh, best area to build? We do have a few more over there. Let me just pause it for a second. I mean, that's pretty far away. But it would be cool to go down all the way here. And then maybe some stairs going up directly in front of it. And that's probably much more direct mm, link, I think. I mean, maybe another distribution center and we'll send it directly to mm, Dragon's Keep. I think so, yeah. Okay, we'll resume the time. Let's see if we can. I guess we're going to have to face it, yeah, this way here. Wait a second, is the water... Oh, we do have to put like a little dam in here, don't we? Yeah, but we don't have the reach for it. Let's check again. So, right from here... Oh, uh, actually, we might... Hmm. Few platforms, I think, should do the job. So, if they go, let's say, right about there. So, something like... Actually, let me put this in place, and once that is done, we'll be back. Okay, there we go. Platforms are in, and that's going to be our quick fix to get these levees in there as well. Besides that, we shall also be needing you right about here, I believe. Yep. Okay, and now all we gotta do is give you the highest priority. Off you go, and same for those levies. Please get them built. Okay, you can reach this one, so that's good. If we could... Oh, we're not gonna be able to get this done. Hmm. Okay, so this might be a slightly longer project, perhaps... Uh, but we are going to need a few more dynamites. Yep, you're going to need to go. You, you. Maybe they go down or climb down from here. I think we should be able to do that. Just not really sure how many dynamites exactly we're going to need. But I'm sure we're going to be able to figure this out soon. So let's uh, skip the night again and we'll be back in the morning. All right, there we go. It is another day and the beavers are already busy. So, priorities have been set in the temple district here. And I think I saw... Are you coming over? Let me just speed up the time. Yep, okay, so the logs are going in. I believe he's doing the... Oh, never mind. Where are you off to? Okay, so you're doing this side first. Well, that's fine. Uh, we'll get this uh, constructed as soon as possible. Uh, maybe we'll come back to it in about 0 0.8 days. Let's have a look at the... Oh, you haven't done the dynamites. Uh... Probably forgot to set them a slightly higher priority. But that's okay. Let's get this area. Wait, I can't explode it now because then they won't have access to it. Okay, we're going to have to leave you there as well. Now, let's go back to... Oh, is, oh there's still a little bit more water here. I guess we're going to have to decide if we want those platforms there. It's just every time I think about platforms... I think about metal and how difficult it is to get all this. Uh, just really a lot of work I'll probably have to do off camera, but that's okay. So anyways, yeah, I've uh, cleaned up this area here as well. So they have a bit more direct route for those water pumps and a bit more range. So, but it's still red and not a lot on this side, which is 
kind of sad. I mean, for sort of visual and uh, to make it look a little bit nicer, I guess I can put those pl platforms and cover up most of this tank in here, but it's not a huge priority, to be honest. And yeah, I guess we'll, we are going to save the metal for this area instead, because it would be nice to clean up those those uh, tower sections, everything, yeah, everything had to be removed and relocated. Okay, so for this area, let's prep you real quick as well. They will have to be able to reach the middle bit here, and the only way we can do that is again with a quick little bridge in here. So you are going to have to go right about there. Quick staircase as well. And yeah, okay, there we go. I think we can also resume you i know you don't have access right now but you shall have it very soon um gear so when we are building the same efficient mine in the other district we are gonna need a lot more gears over there so most likely have to increase the production uh but not enough beavers right hmm options lots of trees here as well are you still sending trees out? Hopefully not. Oh, you are sell uh, sending logs out, but this is the district. Mm, oh yeah, it is there. So you don't need to expo export those anymore. Bread and blanks. Oh uh, yeah. I'm thinking we now should start sending them out from here into Dragon's Keep, most likely. Yeah, that would make a lot more sense because... That's where we're producing things and no longer growing those trees very soon. What's your problem? Oh, it's nighttime. Okay, we'll let you do this. Let's uh, quickly check on... Oh, let me pause it. There we go. Much better and smoother. Why haven't you still taken down those trees? Hmm. I guess they had other priorities in mind. Oh, we might not also have enough builders and anymore. Let's have a look at this real quick. So, yeah, 12 vacancies. We only have one in here and no builders in this one. Okay, right, so we've spotted a few problems. Have to send some more beavers in here. We do have, oh, 19, 14 in here. So maybe we migrate to temple. Let's send you all. Yep, let's do this. And now we have eight still somewhere else. Three in this one. Oh, okay, that's the ones. Five in here. Do you know what? You're gonna go to temple as well. Yep, we need you all. Now... Oh, okay, you're full, so we can do another build this out, potentially. And maybe even a hauling post in the future. Let's do one over here. Probably set you the lowest and four beavers. I really love that most recent update. How we are now able to set everything before they are even built. Yeah, probably best quality of life update that we've had in quite some time. But okay, so there's a bit of uh, things for me to do off camera. I'll try and have this constructed and most likely have to put a few uh, water pumps here as well just to speed up clearing this space. And then yeah, if we highlight this building here, the efficient mine, logs, not a problem. The 3D planks probably can get them pretty easily as well, but 450 gears. Now that's the painful part. And what I'm thinking, because we have quite a few beavers in District 1, and there's a whole lot of logs here, it might be easier just to put down a few more gear workshops in here. Uh, yeah, rearrange this a little bit, make it more efficient, uh, rather than sending them over and having to worry about getting more beavers in this area here. Uh, but I might do a mix of both. So we'll increase the production, improve it a little bit, we'll carry on building these metal platforms but yeah the priority is really in here we need to get a lot more scrap metal and then we can uh, eventually get into having more water pumps in in this district but at least the plans are pretty clear now what we want to do with district one the temple area and the dragon's keep so a little bit of off-camera work, yes, and uh, yeah, so that's going to be the end of this episode. Quite a lot of updates this time, and hopefully we'll have even more updates in the next one. So thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I look forward to seeing you again in the next one.